Here we are back with another video. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to do a lash map with wispy lashes with the Nagaraku Mix Trays with a 0.07 volume lash. And right now I'm going to start off with my lash model and I am just marking out where I'm going to be putting the spikes and all the different lengths and everything. So you're pretty much just drawing lines onto your under eye pad. What I'm doing is I'm drawing longer lashes for my spike placement. I like to use an uneven number of spikes, just kind of looks better. And my spikes are always two to three millimeters longer than the rest of the lashes that I'm applying for a good effect. I'm drawing out long lines to mark my spikes and in between I'm putting the other lengths that I'm using. So as you can see, I've labeled them with 15 millimeters, 14 millimeters, and 12 millimeters. You do want to be careful when putting longer spikes in the inner corners. So mine ends at 12 and then the one next to it's going to be 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 millimeters. For this lash map, we wanted to keep it a little shorter, which will make those spikes stand out quite a bit here i am just removing the lashes from the tray sometimes it's a little easier for me to just use the outside of the lash tray that way when i'm done i can just put it right back into it and i am not searching all over the place so these are 0.05 c mix the c curl is a little bit more on the natural side so it will give a nice little swoop for this look which i'm excited to show you guys here you can see my spikes there are 15 two 15s 114 in the middle and then wait i did three 15s 114 and a 12 right there so that i decided to actually add another one to the very outer corner as kind of like the last one so that i could get my uneven amount so here i am placing it my spikes on the other side but you pretty much just grab a little bundle of lashes apply some glue and then just don't let it fan out and kind of like pinch it at the top so it stays very pointy so that's how you make spikes in a nutshell and i'm just applying those with a little bit of glue don't use too much you don't want it to get too chunky and that's how you do your spikes on this last side we did about 70 to 80 percent coverage uh, we wanted to keep it a little bit more natural looking and the 0.07s are a bit on the thicker side so that is why i didn't do all of them and this is what it looks like there you can see the spikes turned out so good it looks beautiful she has such nice blue eyes so this looked really nice and you can tell that these are a c curl because they just have a really nice swoop 